Have you heard about the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory? This was a fascinating educational toy that was released in 1950, during the height of the atomic age. The purpose of this laboratory was to spark interest in nuclear science and technology among children. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was the brainchild of Alfred Carlton Gilbert, who was a successful toy manufacturer and a man with a passion for science. He saw an opportunity to introduce children to the world of nuclear science, which was a hot topic at the time. The laboratory came with a range of equipment and materials that allowed children to conduct a variety of experiments related to nuclear energy. The kit included a Geiger counter, a cloud chamber, a spin theroscope, and a range of other tools and materials. Children could use these tools to conduct experiments such as measuring the radioactivity of different materials or observing the trails left by radioactive particles in the cloud chamber. These experiments were designed to be safe and educational, and they allowed children to learn about nuclear science in a fun and engaging way. While the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was undoubtedly a fascinating educational tool, it is important to note that it was released during a time when people had a much more optimistic view of nuclear energy. Today we are much more aware of the potential dangers of nuclear power, and we take much more caution when it comes to nuclear science. Nonetheless, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory remains an important artifact from the atomic age, and it serves as a reminder of the enthusiasm and optimism that surrounded nuclear science in the mid-20th century. The kit was created by Alfred Carlton Gilbert, who was also the inventor of the popular erector set. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was quite an extraordinary science kit. It included a Geiger counter, a cloud chamber, a spin theroscope, and other radioactive materials such as uranium ore samples. The kit was designed for children to explore the world of atomic energy and to learn about nuclear physics. The Geiger counter was one of the main components of the kit. It was used to detect and measure the radiation levels of different objects. The cloud chamber was another interesting component of the kit. It allowed children to see the paths of alpha particles and other radioactive particles. The kit also included a spin theroscope, which was used to observe the flashes of light that were produced by radioactive decay. There were also radioactive sources that were included in the kit, such as uranium or samples and a small amount of radium. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was a very popular science kit during its time. However, due to concerns about the safety of radioactive materials, the kit was eventually taken off the market. Nowadays, it is considered a collector's item and is quite rare to find. In conclusion, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was an extraordinary science kit that allowed children to learn about atomic energy and nuclear physics. It included a Geiger counter, a cloud chamber, a spin theroscope, and other radioactive materials. Although it is no longer available on the market, it remains a fascinating piece of science history. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was a pretty amazing product at the time, as it contained real radioactive materials, which was supposed to make it even more exciting for kids. However, as you can imagine, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory posed significant safety risks. The radioactive materials that were included in the sets could cause harm if mishandled or ingested. This meant that children who played with the sets could be exposed to radiation, which could lead to serious health problems. It's pretty shocking to think that a product like this was ever sold to children, but at the time, people didn't fully understand the risks associated with radiation. It wasn't until the 1970s that the dangers of radiation became more widely known, and products like the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory were eventually taken off the market. While it's important to encourage children's interest in science, it's also crucial that we prioritize their safety. Products like the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory remind us that we need to be vigilant about the potential risks associated with the materials we use in science experiments. It's important to always read the instructions carefully and to follow safety protocols to ensure that everyone stays safe. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was a science kit produced by the A.C. Gilbert Company, a well-known manufacturer of educational toys and science kits in the United States. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was released in 1950. 
during a time when nuclear energy was becoming an exciting and promising field of study. The kit was designed to teach children about atomic energy and radiation through a series of experiments that could be conducted in the safety of their own home. The kit included a Geiger counter, a cloud chamber, and several other tools that allowed children to detect and measure radiation. It also included a small amount of radioactive material, which was used to conduct experiments that demonstrated the properties of nuclear energy. Unfortunately, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was short-lived. By the 1960s, there was growing concern about the safety of radioactive materials, and the kit was eventually discontinued. Today, it is a rare collector's item, and many people are fascinated by its historical significance. Despite its controversial nature, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was an important part of the A.C. Gilbert Company's legacy, of producing educational toys and science kits that encourage children to explore and learn about the world around them. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was a toy set that was marketed towards children in the 1950s. It came with a variety of items, including a Geiger counter, a radioactive ore sample, and a manual that taught children about nuclear energy and radiation. At the time, it was seen as a way to get children interested in science and technology and encourage them to pursue careers in these fields. However, in hindsight, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was a dangerous and ill-advised product. The radioactive ore sample that came with the set was actually uranium ore, and the Geiger counter was not strong enough to accurately measure the levels of radiation emitted by the ore. Children who played with this toy set were unknowingly exposing themselves to dangerous levels of radiation, which could have long-term health consequences. Despite its dangers, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory played a significant role in popularizing nuclear science and technology in the mid-20th century. It helped to spark an interest in these fields among children and encouraged them to explore the world of science and technology. Many scientists and researchers credit the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory with inspiring them to pursue careers in nuclear science and related fields. Today, the legacy and impact of the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory is a complicated one. While it played an important role in popularizing nuclear science and technology, it also exposed children to dangerous levels of radiation and put their health and well-being at risk. As such, it serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of responsible marketing and product development, and the potential dangers of introducing new technologies without fully understanding their risks and implications.